Hi, I'm Joe from A Smarter Home Canada. If you're watching this channel, chances are you have a smart home. You're either using one of three platforms. Most people are using Amazon Alexa. Second place, you've got Google Home. Third, you have Apple HomeKit. Now, I don't have any Apple products. I don't have Alexa. I use Google Home, and if you're like me, 2024 has been very disappointing for you so far. It seems Google has been removing features from the devices at a regular pace. They've just completely discontinued them. Now most of the removed features, they weren't getting a lot of use anyway, so I can see why they removed those things. But there are a couple on the list that just don't make any sense to me. One of the main reasons I bought a Nest display for my kitchen was the fact that I could call up recipes on it. They've now killed the recipe book on the Google products. That's one I'm gonna miss a lot. I did have a bunch of recipes saved. I can find them still on my phone. I'm gonna miss it so much, I'm actually looking at getting one of these. Another feature that they disabled was the ability to change a calendar appointment with your voice on your display or speaker. Now, you have to go into the app manually and do that. This is one that I don't understand why they did this. One of the main functions of an assistant, either human or a computer, is managing your schedule. And they've completely done away with the easiest way you could do that. You're not my supervisor! A third function that they killed and is going to be the focus of this video is media alarms. You used to be able to say, set a media alarm for 8 a.m. Now when you ask Google Home for a media alarm, you get this. There, your alarm set for tomorrow at 8 a.m. But just so you know, media alarms are no longer available through Google Assistant. When your alarm goes off, you'll hear a regular alarm instead. Luckily, there is a workaround for this, and I'm going to show you how to do that right after the jump. Before we get started, I just want to apologize for the drastic lighting change that is going on over the last little bit here. Since I've started recording this video, we've gone through bright sunlight to heavy snow, back to bright sunlight, hail, sleet, and then now it's back to bright and sunny again. So this is a typical Canadian day. Now comes the question, how do we fix the media alarm and get it back playing what we want? To do that, we're going to use home.google.com in the automations and make a new automation to solve this problem to bring back that function that Google has cut. By making this automation, is this going to be a complete 100% solution? No. But it's better than the current dumpster fire situation that the Google Home platform seems to be falling into. As you will see, I'm not building this routine for myself. I'm building this automation for my son Colton, who's 13, who has trouble getting out of bed in the morning. When this feature was available on Google, he used to like waking up to the music. Now that it's just reverted back to the normal alarm, he tends to sleep through it. We're gonna bring that media back for him to wake up to, and I'm gonna add a few extras along the way. Now the method I'm gonna show is using the google.home.com webpage to build this script. You could overall just build it on your phone using the Google Home app. I personally like the script option. I feel there's a little more customization there. So that's the method I'm gonna use here. First things first, you're gonna to go to the home.google.com website, click on automations, and then go to the bottom corner and press add new. This is gonna bring up a clean new script for us to use. Every routine needs a name, so go up, give it a good name. The description is optional, but the name is the part that matters. This brings us to the starter. You're gonna click beside type, and that's gonna bring down a drop-down menu of all your options. You're gonna scroll to the bottom until you see time schedule, and that's the one we're gonna pick because we want it to run at the same time every day. Once you click on time schedule, it's gonna automatically pop up a box with a list of all the time functions you can use. I'm personally just going to use military time. We're going to set this for 7.55 every morning. It'll go off. You set it to whatever time you want it to go off. That's all up to you. You can customize this as much as you want. I'm also going to take out Saturday and Sunday since the routine will not be running those days. 
is. Now that we're finished with starters, we're gonna move on to conditions. The condition portion is really gonna depend on what smart home products you have, how you can bring them in. One example is if you've got a smart light in your bedroom and you wake up and you turn this on, this alarm or this media alarm will not play. One way I can really see forward with the condition tabs is the use of all these new great presence sensors that are coming out where it can actually detect if somebody's sleeping in the bed and if nobody's in the bed when this routine is scheduled to go off, it's not gonna run the routine. Little things like that you can start making today if you've got the technology in your house. I personally expect every inch of my house to have some sort of presence sensor coverage within the next couple of years. And I personally think that presence sensors are gonna become the backbone of most smart homes going forward. If you wanna see my review and setup of the Acara Presence Sensor 2, the link's gonna be right above here. Moving on, we're now at the action portion of the script. I've already gone ahead and pre-made a bunch of actions to take place before the media starts playing. These include turning on the lights, setting the lights to 100% brightness, and changing the lights to bright white. And don't forget to set an action to adjust the speaker's volume. Finally, we're at the section of the script where we're going to create an action to replace the media alarm. Before doing this, I recommend going to your Spotify account, your YouTube music account, or whatever you use, and create a specific playlist for the wake up alarm. Here I've made one for my son Colton, and I'll let him fill it with music he likes afterwards, but for now, we're just gonna make him wake up to this. You definitely have to make parenting fun. Now that we have our playlist, let's go back into the script editor. We're going to use as our action type, assistant.command, and then as the command, we're gonna put play my wake up Colton playlist on YouTube music. Simple. And for devices, we're just gonna pick Colton's room speaker easy enough. So now every morning at that time it is going to play this playlist along with a bunch of other actions and hopefully he gets up in time for school. So does this completely fix the problem of them removing the media alarm? No. But it gives us some function back. You can wake up to music again instead of just the standard alarm. A couple major drawbacks I see with this is one, every time you need to change the alarm, you have to go in and physically do it instead of just doing it with your voice. You won't be able to have it skip a day and to stop the app from running, you have to go into your Google Home app and deactivate the routine until you need it again. With the removal of so many features and the firing of 1200 employees that were working on the Google Home environment, makes you really wonder what the future holds for your Google Home products. Maybe it's time to change my smart home environment from Google-based to something else. Just not Home Assistant. On the bright side, there is one function that Google just will never be able to take away from you. Thanks for holding the door. I'll always try my best for you. And with that, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. If you did like it, fantastic. Keep coming back. I want to see you back here again. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Click on the beaver when he shows up during the song. And if you didn't like the video, I don't care. I'm just an old Canadian guy in his new Canadian home trying to make it a little bit smarter and having some fun doing it. Thanks for watching. We said our loves to wake us gently from our